Alright everyone, Geordie Paul here, welcome back to Magpie Movies, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be looking at these guys over here, my complete Arrow collection being in Blu-ray, 4K as well as DVD. So I'm going to get into that with you shortly. Before I do, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the notification bell so whenever I do a new video, you will be the first one to know. So again, thanks for everybody who's subscribed to the channel so far, I am so touched and grateful and humbled by all the support I get, comments I get as well as with my road to 650 subscribers. Honestly, without you guys, I would make this channel what it is. So come here, I'm gonna give you a hug. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah. There you go, that's a big hug for you guys there. Love you all. So yes, anyway, if we look over here. Wow. Arrow, arrow goodness. And then down here. Wow, look at these bad boys. Yeah. Arrow goodness. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to have a look on, not have a look, but I'm going to show you exactly what I have in my Arrow collection. Uh, something maybe you haven't got, some things that you do have. But this is my complete Arrow Blu-ray collection, 4K collection, as of this month, end of September 2021. So right, let's get myself and I'll show you exactly what I have. So let's crack on. First of all, we have Battle Royale, the original window case, as you can see here which comes with a book, the theatrical cut, the director's cut, and the special features on DVD. Put that back in there. Then we have my Dawn of the Dead. Again with the book, the theatrical cut, director's cut, and Argento cut. Only the first direct theatrical cut is on Blu-ray. Then we have Brian De Palma's Carrie. With the book and the single disc. John Carpenter's Big Trouble in Little China with Kurt Russell. No book with this one, single disc. And there's special features. Then we have a lovely gift from Mr. Jamie Powell, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which I am yet to watch. I still need to, as his little note. And then we have the DVD and the Blu-ray of that. So there's the back. Thanks again, Jamie. We have Children of Men with Clive Owen. I remember seeing this at the cinema and enjoyed it, so I thought I'd buy it and give it another go. The great 70s Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland. No, it's Donald Sutherland, his dad. With Lennon Nimoy as well. And we have Columbus, which I've watched an hour of it. Couldn't really get into it, if I'm honest with you. Uh, so there you go. That one. We have The Hunt with Mads Mikkelsen. Again, I know this is supposed to be really good, but again, I have yet to see get round to seeing this one. Why Don't You Just Die, a Russian film, which I highly recommend. Comes with the book and the disc. Very good film. Definitely recommend that one. Tarantino-esque. Then we have my Donnie Darko with a slip. Two disco director's cut and theatrical cut. Then we have Wes Craven's People Under the Stairs. Single disc, no book. We have my, this is the first 4K that they released, which is Pitch Black. Single disc with the book. Good film this, I remember going to the cinema to see this. Didn't know much about it, but it was really good. So I'm happy to have that. I have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Pretty dire to be honest, but you know, it's still enjoyable. And it's a Texas Chainsaw, so you can't go wrong with that. But everybody knows the first one's the best one. Then we have The Burning, which I actually quite enjoyed, which is the Blu-ray and the DVD. I actually 100% preferred this to the first Friday the 13th. Really good. Then we have The Villainess, which is a um, Asian version of John Wick, more or less. There's not much special features on that one. Yet to see it, but I'm looking forward to it. Candyman. Now, everyone's going to hate me to say this. I have never watched this all the way through. 
I've got it to watch. I've still got, and I've got the original, the remake or the new one to watch as well. So there you go. Clive Barker's Nightbreed. Two disker. I remember the game that I used to play. I think it was on the 64, the Commodore 64, even not N64, Commodore 64. My favourite Spanish movie, Wreck. Love this movie. I've ha had this on DVD, Blu-ray, and then I upgraded it. Comes with the book. Uh, such such a good film. The special features on the back. I've got the whole set. I need to get um, Apocalypse and uh, Genesis on Blu-ray because I've only got them on DVD. Exorcist 3 with a slip, which is the true sequel to The Exorcist, which comes with a two disc with the Legion cut and the theatrical cut, and it comes with the book as well. So I'm really happy to have that. And the last of the Amory cases is ICU. Very good film. If you have not seen this, I highly recommend it. Very, very good. Single disc with the book. It's one of those films that you want to go into not see the trailer and just enjoy it for what it is very very highly recommended by me so we move on to the box sets we have robocop great film i remember seeing this begging my parents that i want to see this when i was about 16 eventually let me see it so happy to have that one of their new recent releases true romance this is the steelbook release Got that with obviously all the oh put it back in here with all the special features and everything on there. This is the one that went out of stock on Zavi but then came back in and I jumped on it. And then we have Waterworld. Let it slip off. Uh, this is the three disker. So you have the uh, theatrical cut, Ulysses cut, and the TV cut. When you buy it in the shops, normally it's only the two disc. This is the three disker. This sold up pretty quick as well. I remember I bought this, sold it, and then realised it was actually worth something. Well, not worth something, but it went up in price and hard to get, so I'm happy to have that back in the collection. Got the Vengeance Trilogy, which has Lady Vengeance, All Boy, and Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance. So I got that from Zavi recently. Happy to have that. And then we have Dune, the limited edition steelbook. Of it. With the art cards, three discs, so you get the bonus disc, the 4K disc, and the Blu ray. Oh, put the discs back in correctly, Paul. There we go. So that's Dune. You then have, as you saw from the last videos, the thing, which is because this is what you normally get. Normally is that and that, but because it's a limited edition, you get the art cards and a book and a hard case. So it's nice to have that in the collection. I love this film. It's so good. Next is another 4K, which is the Donny Darko set. And obviously, you know, I've had the um, the normal Amory case. But this one is the 4K, of course. With the director's cut and the theatrical cut and the books and all that jazz that goes with it. This is, this is always a day one purchase for me on 4K. Then we have Tremors, another great 90s creature flick. This is the 4K version with the uh, all singing, all dancing um, features and everything on it. Comes with all the special features, so you've got the 4K disc and then the bonus disc. So I'm happy to have that one. We then have the Ring Collection, which I showed earlier on my Horror Collection. So I've got four there. We then also have, again from my Horror Collection, the Hellraiser set. Happy with that one. And finally, the Big Boy, which is the Battle Royale 4K set, which comes with 4K special edition of the director's cut, theatrical cut uh, of the, sorry, let's start again. We have the trump cards, we have the original theatrical version in 4K, the original special director's cut in 4K, then the sequels, theatrical and director's cut in Blu-ray. 
So yeah, so this this is the two films, this one and Requiem. There's all your special features as well on the back of there. Uh, also comes with the soundtrack, of course. So there you go, that is all my arrow. So there you go, that is it. That is my complete Arrow 4K Blu-ray and DVD collection. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a comment below. Which ones have you got? Which ones do you recommend? I'd be very much appreciative if you could just let me know. That'd be awesome. Thanks again for watching. Uh, don't forget to please like, share and subscribe, which would be amazing. And of course, I am here on Instagram, magpie underscore movies 1978. That's awesome. If you do subscribe and you do like, awesome, because the more people I subscribe, and the more people like, it gets on my YouTube algorithm and it'll get the channel noticed, which will be great. And it's grown and grown and grown. 630 subscribers, 20 away from the competition, which is fantastic. So thank you guys for that. Uh, yep, so that's it. I'm, I'm going to go out of here. Oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to get out of here, leave you to whatever you're doing. So enjoy yourself. Enjoy the video, which I hope you had. And I'll see you on the next video. This is Jordy Paul, last surviving member of Magpie Movies, signing off.